Hello. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, sorry, are you recording? Yeah, we're okay. good. We're good. Hi. So, the way Cloudside started, or there might be a previous name. So basically, <laughs> these songs were written the past couple years or so um, in my room, or being away from home, going through a lot of hard stuff, going through a lot of happy times and whatnot. Um, I was playing with a previous band at the time. We did a lot of traveling and touring. And um, I just wrote a lot of songs of my own time that kind of I never really had use for, and they always they were just kind of racked up in my head and recorded them, put them on SoundCloud, and yeah, I didn't really have any use for them. I just kept writing and writing, but I thought, hey, maybe one of these days I'll have a rad band to help me out play these songs. And fast forward a couple years, and here we are in my room talking about this. It's pretty cool, it's surreal. Um, but yeah, so there there's just songs that kind of just accumulated in my brain the past couple years. Um, just going through good times, bad times, fighting with people, girls, all that, uh, being on tour, being away, being uh, going through high and low points on that, and um, yeah, it's just a lot of a lot of emotion behind these songs and a lot of a lot of fun times. Favorite? Um, well, well, Jeff. Now that we're starting to play our songs, electric, I'd I'd probably say receivers or cycles. Least favorite. Um, I think we both know this would be a sender. I'm still I'm still learning how to play it properly. <laughs> and uh yeah, probably a sender. It's a fun song, it's a beautiful song, I love it. But uh yeah, a sender. I'll get you someday. Um what I would suggest is kinda what Obed said, just kinda close your eyes and kinda just clear your mind. If you're having a, a shitty day at work or fighting with your significant other, you know, this album really reflects uh different high and low points that can kinda bring out different emotions. And um, I would say, yeah, just kind of just relax, give it your all. Don't think about anything. Um, yeah, each song kind of has its own kind of melodic sensibility that will bring out a different side to you. At least I, that's how it is for me. Um, yeah, all these songs are written at different kind of points in my life. Every time we play it, I can kind of like think back to that. So with that, with that being said, um, yeah, just listen to it, tell a friend, and spread the wealth of us. You won't regret it. Roll <laughs> Let's do it. <clears throat> uh, family Guy or American Dad? American Dad. How about uh, Billy Madison or Dumb and Dumber? <laughs> Oof. Fuck. <laughs> gotta go with my roots. I gotta go with uh, Dumb and Dumber, obviously. <laughs> of course, yeah. Jimi Hendrix or Led Zeppelin? Zeppelin. Mm, Stones or Beatles? Stones. About uh, unwritten law or blink one or two. <laughs> oh gosh, <laughs> is this going online? <laughs> <laughs> Both, of course. <laughs> Cheers, or so. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Uh, Gibson or Fender? Fender. Uh, blondes or brunettes? Uh, I'll take them both, but <laughs> you know, brunette. <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah, of hope that doesn't go on. <laughs> uh, yeah. Right. What's the sender about? Uh, next question. Vocals. Where to begin with that? Holy crap. Uh, so first time. Uh, I remember Jason's always talked about this guy Jeff. I got to play. Uh, we played a show with his old band back in the day. Throughout the past couple of years, I always heard his name. Always heard how good of a guy he is. And I remember when Jason and I recorded this acoustic demo. Um, we got a, a demo sent by Jeff, like, hey, it's my buddy Jeff. I'm like, ah, cool, let's hear it. And my, the first time I heard it, it was in my old room. Um, and I just, like, my jaw dropped. It's like, holy, whoa, this guy exists? Like, this is real? And um, fast forward a couple months later, half a year later, here we are doing this. And, uh, yeah, Jeff's vocals are just, they're insane. He has a great sense of falsetto. He has a great background. He's very hardworking. His lyrics are very insane and uh, very deep and very emotional. And that's why I can relate to a lot of it. And they're very fitting with Cloudside. Um, but yeah, his background uh, is just, it's very perfect. And he's a talented, smart, hardworking dude that never, never quits. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Jason. Oh, man. So, yeah, we have a lot of history playing together. And uh, I can sum it up in a few words. He's the best drummer ever, hands down. You know, I've... Uh, uh, me and him feed off each other so much, and I know exactly where he's going with these songs, and he just, he's so damn talented, he's so musically, musically trained, and 
his ideas and approaches, not not just towards drumming, but just song structure in general, vocals, everything. Um, yeah, he's the best drummer hands down, and I'm very lucky to have him be my father and uh, help me with other things in my life and whatnot, and he's uh, yeah, the best drummer hands down. Mr. Obed. So, first time I saw him play was with one of Jason's previous bands, and uh, yeah, I had my eye on him the whole night. He was groovy as hell. He knew what he was doing. He was solid. Him and Jason locked in. I had the opportunity to play with him with a previous band, and um, from there it was just everything just fell into place. Me and him could feed off each other, and uh, it just it felt right. You know, you don't have that too often with some musicians and whatnot, and uh, it just worked. From that, I got to know him pretty well. Um, I still went to support some of his other band shows with Jason, and um, yeah, no, he's definitely very solid, very on top of it. He can pick up anything um, just right off the bat. He knows what he's doing. He has a very good backbone for laying the rhythm section down. Very happy to have him be part of this. He's a great dude and very social, committed, friendly, and he's a hell of a dude. I love him. So my father, I owe my guitar playing to my father, Andrew. Uh, when I was younger, he would play me VHS tapes of Jimi Hendrix, Led Zeppelin, The Rolling Stones, and um, yeah, from that I knew I wanted to play an instrument or be in a band. I remember when we were younger, me and my brother would play like little tennis rackets and jam along, or kind of dance and jam along to our experience. And from that, you know, like I never put it down. Um, I had to wait. I was like nine or ten. You know, I was starting to play guitar, and I had to wait for my hand to grow around the neck. Um, like in elementary school, going to middle school is when I started actually playing, taking lessons, and um, started out with a lot of classic rock and kind of grew into my own thing. And um, yeah, so definitely I owe my dad a lot of uh, the appreciation to that for getting me into music. And 26 years old, I still haven't put it down yet, so I don't think I ever will.